Okay, I've been doing some side questing, and as you can see, I got nine merit, mer merit stamp cards, so I can get three abilities here. I'm probably planning on getting the, let's see, probably get more experience. And the buy items at shopping slightly lower price. Yeah, I'll go for that. I was leaning on that one. Ugh. And burping. That was not a part of the plan, but whatever. Well, it's got, yeah, this one's useless in my opinion. As long as you're prepared and you save beforehand, you won't have to worry about that one. Uh, allows you to collect any gleams, probably. Cause them to drop more items. I'm leaning on this one or that one. I think this one. The other ones seem like it'll help you live better, I guess, you know. Picking up gleams in battle. Okay. I guess I might as well continue here. Let's fast travel to... Where is it? Skull Island. Skull Mountain! There's a fucking difference! Oh, in the skull! <laughs> oh, I didn't even see that rock there. Oh, there's the big dragon. Whimper! Oh. Crikey, that dragon looks like he's lo he'd lose a fight with a fly, man. Not like not like the one we just fought. fought. Proper feisty he was. Well, is he? He is sick, Mr. Drippy. What's up with you then, Tenny boy? We what the wing root is it? Touch of hor horcake, hornake. Come on, man. We can't help you if you can't stand there groaning like that. Uh, I guess he's trying to say something to us. In you know, dragon. Oh sure, Ollie boy. Well, if you say so, let's have a listen then. Oh, you mean? Flippin' heck, man. Look lively, will you? How many animals have you spoken to now? And you still don't know what to do? Cast a spell, you idiot! I mean, ain't it? <laughs> I did know! I was just going to say that. Dick. Okay, uh, nature's tongue. Oh, no, no, not that nature tongue. Hello, Tangri. We wanted to talk with you, is, is, if, that, if that's okay. <laughs> yeah, we heard you're a bit poorly, ain't it? Tell us what's up, man. Maybe we can help, like. Uh. Look, he's scared, aren't you, Tangri? Poor thing. There, there. Oh, we won't hurt you. Don't be frightened. Oh, well, you just natured tongue me. <laughs> you want the fly again, don't you, Tangri? Why don't you tell us what's wrong? All right. Go on. I feel strange. There's me who isn't me. What? Another me, and he's sick, so I can't fly. Another Tangri? So, do you think he means... Of course, he's got a soulmate. He's got a soulmate over on all these boys' world, ain't it? You mean back in Mortarville? Like Myrtle and I, but Tangri's a dragon. That happened. That happens too, eh, all boy? We've seen people with with animals for soulmates before, ain't it? You mean like Timmy and King Tom? Sure, we have. Although technically, yeah, they are both cats. He's not really a human. Exactly. And I reckon Tangri's super sensitive, a super sensitive animal mind means he can tell what's going on in his soulmate over by the over by there. What are you lot talking about? I don't understand a word you're saying. <laughs> <sighs> really, I can't be bothered to explain it to you. I'll tell you afterwards, alright? Tangri, the other you is sick in his heart. Do you do you understand? In his heart? Yes, but don't worry. We're going to make him better. So you'll so I'll be able to so you'll be able to fly again. Wrong voice. Really? Really, and you can fly again. Do you think you might let us ride on your back? 
Um, yes, all right, I'll let you. Thank you so much, Tangri. We'll help you, I promise. Gee, Esther, that was amazing. No, it wasn't. Eh, <clears throat> it was, eh? Gotten used to the girl. I clean forgot about how... What? I clean forgot she had a way of animals. Suppose she is a familiar tamer af keeper after all. <laughs> Tangri's not a familiar, silly. No, he's not. Much of a dr he's not much of a dragon either. A massive wimp. You'd be a wimp too if your soulmate was, got, was sick. Or have you forgotten what animal it's like to be attacked by Shada? No, I won't forget in a hurry either. Hang about. How come she never s stepped in like what is it? How come she never stepped in like the? Like that when she had to had to fight with a flippin' red dragon. I'm sure we can do something to help Tangri. Come on, let's go help. Let's go tell Captain Cowboy, Calbay, or whatever. I, I can't get it right. It's Calbay. I need to hear it pronounced again. <laughs> I'll leave it. I'll leave for now. Do <clears throat> don't want to stir up trouble. <laughs> Okay. I'm getting caught and stuff. Okay, I'm talking to his back. I'm gonna turn around. This is kind of awkward, dude. Well, did you discover what made a ma made a mouse of my once mighty dragon? Well, we've got an idea. Yeah. <laughs> then I suggest you find the, the cure, fairy. I shall look forward to seeing it. Oh, and so, and so you don't get yourself killed in the meantime. Have this. Thanks. <laughs> Gee, this is one of those treats that make familiars meta metamorpho uh change. <laughs> okay. That is it, boy. I couldn't help you notice you're using familiars when you were fighting. And what a scurvy bunch of sc sc what scrags they were! Tis little wonder old Red almost cooked you. No, he didn't. Well, it took a while, but he didn't really cook me. He could barely even fucking aim his flamethrower in my direction. So what the fuck are you talking about? Now, if one of your familiars got eaten in one of those rubs, I give you what? That I gave you and reach the final stage of its development. You'd be beaten here easily. I already got one to the final stage. Oh yeah, I should have shown you that. Hang on, man. I thought we did beat her easily. I mean, I hardly broke a sw- M Mr. Drippy, thank you, Mr. Cowboy. <laughs> Cowboy. <laughs> I haven't finished, boy. Every creature turns into one, two different types in the final stage of its development. It's up to you to choose what the one you want. Got all that? Good. If it, if you've if you, if you, if you have any sense, I'm sorry, if you have any sense, you'll see him, you'll see as many of these drops as you can if you find a way and make your own. Ah oh, yeah, I can make my own now, okay. Gee, another formula, thanks. Alright then, Ollie boy. Drops and familiars are very interesting. The sorting of Tangria is our top priority, ain't it? Yeah, you're right. We need to head over to Motorville and find Tangri's soulmate. Can I go now? Go to Motorville. Gateway! <laughs> Hyperdrive! Uh, there's no animation. All of this is just another loading I screen. I seem to recall you telling us the mighty Mornstar was no more. And yet somehow the boy managed to acquire it. Things don't seem to be going according to plan, do they, Shadar? Don't rub it in. What you say is true. I went to great lengths to destroy the wand. That the boy might never wield its power. But... I could not have known he would travel through time to obtain it. That reminds me, Lord Gallus. You have used that spell. 
The one that binds past, present, and future. Surely not. Surely you did not meet with this savior in the past. <laughs> <laughs> what would I stand to gain from such a meeting? Perhaps the good lady forgets that it is Shadar who has been charged with a boy's disposal. Your Excellencies, there is no cause for alarm. Everything is in hand, I assure you. I am the executor charged with bringing destruction to this world, and I fully intend to fulfill my duties. In any event, the one he holds is incomplete. Without the power of the Three Stones, Mornstar is weak. Set against the might of our own ones, it is a mere toy. It seems you are quite the expert. They are lost, are they not? Not as awesome as our giant over fucking ballast pieces of metal. Correct. The magic stones are lost, but the boy is searching for them now. Of that I have no doubt. And how are we to stop him finding them? When the Wizard King concealed them long ago, he entrusted their care to three fearsome guardians. I propose that we awaken the Keepers of the Stones from their slumber. Does this plan please you, your radiance? It does. Listen to me well, Shadar. The Keepers of the Stones shall henceforth answer to you. I am... Honored. Use your new powers wisely. The Wizard King's most faithful servants are now yours to command. Ooh. So how does this work? Do they just hand it to him? Or it's like some sort of invisible spiritual thing? Like, it is now at your disposal. Again. Okay. It is at my disposal. <laughs> like, jeez, what the fuck? Ready, Ollie boy. We need to find Tengri's soulmate. Can you think of anyone who reminds you of a massive flying dragon? You mean, uh, somebody dragon-like? Come on, man. You know everyone in town, don't you? If you if you can't think of who it might be, just ask around. Or follow the star. I'd rather follow the star. There's a way to disable it, but I'd rather keep it on. Hey, look. There's someone I can talk to. Oh, and I went in that direction anyway. Oh, hi, Oliver. No, oh, she has that accent. I think she's normal. <laughs> hi, Myrtle. Long time no see. See. How has it been working for Miss Layla? I love it! And I'm getting better all getting better all the time. I know the names of the pri uh, names and prices of everything in the store now. Very impressive, young lady. Oh, I'm Swain, by the way. <laughs> I don't really like to talk about it, but I've made my business to protect these poor kids. I'm what you call, might call their, call their guardian. <laughs> no response, but there's like a question mark, like, hmm? Uh, you, you know she can't see or hear you. Can't, she can't hear you, don't you? You what? <laughs> People in this world can't see or hear us, silly. This girl's my soulmate, can't you tell? Yeah, I suppose I can. Now that you mention it. Yeah, man, they just look just look like each. <laughs> man, why am I put on look? They look just like each other. God, why are they? I must be dyslexic. I know it. <laughs> Ain't it? What? They they don't act like act the same mind. Thank goodness for that. <laughs> hey, what's that supposed to mean, Oliver? Can you hear voices? Uh, nope. No, I can't hear them. Hmm, weird. Hey, wanna know what the, what the heck? She can kind of hear them? Huh. It's like, imagine as you're just sitting there like, Uh, do you hear voices? Uh, no. <laughs> Crazy. Anyways, wanna know what they call around the town these days? People have started calling me Fairy Fairy? Ouch. Uh, that's painful. I feel it for you. It's a little embarrassing, but I kind of like it. No, you shouldn't You shouldn't have to like it. You should hate it. <laughs> you know, that's so great, Myrtle. I can't believe how much things have changed for you. You mean now that they don't call me Starry Mary anymore? Yeah, I, I guess things have changed. 
Uh, haha. <laughs> Woof! Oh my god, that's a crazy dog. He's fucking foaming at the mouth. Oh, there's a mad dog on the loose. <laughs> Strange. I feel like I know him from somewhere. Isn't he sweet, though? Not really. I, I can't really see a bulldog being sweet in any way. Um, no. <laughs> yeah. Hey there, Genghis. Like <laughs> Genghis Khan, that's funny. Are you out on on your own again, sweetie? Hey, this dog, it's... That's right, it's Denny's dog. You know Denny, who lives next door to me? He's always out walk, walking together. <laughs> well, I guess you couldn't really call it walking. As soon as school's out, the two of them are going running off together all over, all over town. But I haven't seen Denny, Denny lately. Even though you live next door? That's weird. It is, huh? I always knew... I always know that he leaves the house. I hear him laughing and hollering, at least I did recently. You mean he hasn't been going outside? Yeah. No, I mean, maybe, yeah. Maybe he was like I was. Crikey, you mean he's cursed a stri stary mer cur What? He's now cur cured stary Mary. We've got the glary carry to deal with? Instead, typical, okay. Glary Carey? Strippy! What? On, I thought she couldn't flip, couldn't flip and hear me. <laughs> ah, ow! What are you getting all worked up about? I think he wants to tell us something. Huh? Genghis? What could he want? Looks like another case of heroic wizard who can talk to animals. Don't make fun of him. Oliver, I know we're supposed to be looking for Tangri's soulmate, but... Please, can we speak to Genghis? Sure, let's hear what he has to say. Just a second, Myrtle. I want to ask Genghis what's wrong. Uh, sure. How exactly? Oh, uh, I, I mean, I, I need to see if he has any clues, you know? Uh, being Denny's pet and all. Shut up, man. You're making, <laughs> making it worse. <laughs> <laughs> you go. You you can be awfully strange sometimes, Oliver. Anyways, I have to open the store. I'll see you around, okay? Okay. So I can do some crazy shit like talking to animals in public. Girl, why won't you listen to me? How many times do I have to tell you? My master, he's in trouble. Blimey, sounds serious. Huh? Oh. You're listening now, are you? Hey! <laughs> oh, there's a dog on screen. Don't make meowing sounds. You're gonna piss him off. And you can see us? Sure, I can. Not exactly easy to miss. How come you can suddenly? How come you suddenly started listening? Of course, he can. He can see us. Cause animals are all sensitive to that, ain't it? Now we're all now we're now we're listening, dog face. You could you just couldn't understand till Ollie Boy cast a spell, ain't it? Grrr? Well, you seemed upset. We had to find a way to speaking to you. There's something you want to tell us, isn't there, Genghis, sweetie? Ah, sweetie? <laughs> oh, sorry. I meant Mr. Genghis, sir. Ah, stupid humans. Anyway, I'll tell you again. My master, Denny, the greatest athlete in town. As, as the town has ever seen, this town has ever seen it. And I'm his best friend, the king of the dogs. All you can, all you can call me Genghis. I can swear I know someone who talks just like you. I was just thinking he, I was just thinking the same thing. In fact, doesn't Genghis look like somebody you know too? It's Mr. It's Mr. Genghis Oliver. But yes. I have the same feeling. Who the flip could it be now? Callaway! Oh my god, really? <laughs> That's degrading. I guess he is kind of like a dog. How could we not have spotted it? Just the look of his expression. 